Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Misenior Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at grading a nice looking interview inside of Resolve. And the catch is we're going to do it in only one node because we're going to send a let off to an editor and because, you know, you might as well practice doing stuff in fewer nodes for bigger projects. So inside of DaVinci Resolve, we've got this nice shot of our creative director for this little project coming up. So the first thing we're going to do is add some contrast. I'm going to do this on all the channels, actually. So we're going to make this a pretty nice neutral looking thing. So I'm going to pull these way in. This time we'll show some scopes for a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that we don't hit all the way to black there. So just a little bit just at the edge. We're doing good. Can add a little more contrast down here. Now I'm not looking at the scopes anymore. I'm just looking at the talent. Pull this up some. It's a little bit hot. So I'll bring this point down. This point in some. It's not really doing what I want. So we'll start clipping these. And that's doing more of what I want. Nice and smooth and even. So already, that's looking pretty good. Like, people will buy that. But we're going to make it look a little bit nicer. Because why the heck not? So we're going to go to our log grading. We're going to do our standard, like, push blue into the low mid. So bring our low range down. Just, I do want the background to be a little bit bluey. But we don't want it to be in the blacks there. So let's just see where we can get it. Right about there looks good and then we'll bring it out of the skin and basically everything important we just want a little bit of color in there nice and then that's obviously too much so we'll just bring it back down like this and that's looking pretty nice now the next thing that i'm noticing is this shot it's just a little bit yellow so we fix that by adding in some blue so i'll bring this back up just a little bit Oop, that's too much just need a little bit you can see how that did a whole lot so before it was around there you can really see the yellow now. Bring it back up. That neutrals it out very nicely. So that's looking pretty good. But she's looking a little pale. So we'll just drop some saturation in here. Bring it up. See if that changes anything now. That just really brings it to life. So look nice. I still need a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bit oversaturated on our cheek. So I brought it back a little bit. So it was about there. It's a little too much. Bringing it back. And that looks pretty nice right there. Now, I would really like to you know, add a little bit of vignette, but like I said, we're doing this all in one node. And you can see, teachers would really like our vector scope right now, but screw them, because scopes don't matter. They do matter, but you know, not too much. So there we have it. This is just a really nice, simple, really like real-world grading, where you just make it look nice. Just real quick, one node. All we have to do is right-click, generate 3D LUT. I'll go ahead and save this in the project folder. Goes. interview let now i can send this off to the editor and then i don't need to bother with color grading the thing because it's just this one node nice simple easy you know it's lit nice so it's just going to look nice i want to make it even a little bit brighter Ooh, i might want to make it a little brighter do it with this yeah i do like that a little better and now i'm starting to screw it up oh one other thing i do want to do is Luminous versus saturation. Let's pull that down just to make sure stuff is really nice and clean. Because the director for this likes clean stuff, which is fine. Good practice. I know how to be clean. All right. I wouldn't even be this dramatic. Let's sort of go like this. Just to make sure we're clean down there. All right. So now, look at that. One node grade. You can save it out as a LUT. Super easy. Interview LUT 2. You know you can save it as a let. There's no, um, no effects. There's no qualifiers. Everything's safe. And, you know, I think that looks pretty nice. It's easy whenever you shoot it good. I will tell the editor that this would be nice if we sharpened it up a little bit more. So if I was grading this, I would drop I mean, just one of these on there. And then that looks... I mean, I don't know anyone who wouldn't pay for that. That is a good looking shot, if I do say so myself. It was shot on the Ursa Mini 4.6K with a Tamron 24 to 70 at 2.8, ISO 800, shutter 180 degrees, uh, 23.976 frames per second. Over this key light was 300 watt LEDs and a big old softbox. Back here was 
for LED like fluorescent type tubes, like a Kino type thing, just up high. Uh, they were both homemade lights by my buddy, Michael Gomez. So they're pretty cheap. And then this is just like some metal on a wall. Shot at his studio, Westlight Studios in Franklin, Tennessee. Um, shot ProRes 422 at 4.6K. Also, the white balance was 5750 for the camera. So all in all, it's not really that expensive of a shot. Homemade lights, a camera rig that was probably definitely under $8,000 total. Probably less. Because I have a sort of, oh, and there's also a polarizer on this. So that's what's contributing to a little bit of the softness that I wanted to take out. But I just like polarizers so much. I pretty much always shoot on polarizers when I can. And we had enough light that I could and just nail the exposure exactly how I want it. So that looks pretty good. If you want some other weirder LUTs, like, you know, let's show you one. Uh, this one I've been having fun with. Like this, and you just bring it back. If you want to add a little bit more flavor on top, you know, you can go to mistermedia.com slash products. Check out the house let's pack. Let's go with the random one. And you just get all sorts of other craziness on top of your grade. But I really like this clean look. You don't have to goof it up with anything. Uh, also on mistermedia.com slash products, we've got light leaks and power grades and optical flare type things. It's good stuff. You should go check it out. If for no other reason than to make my daily page count view go up and make me feel good. Also, be sure to subscribe to Meester Media because these tutorials are handy dandy, or so I've been told, which is why I keep making them. And be sure to share this video with your friends because this is a nice, easy, like non-sexy color grading tutorial with just really straight ahead real world color grading. One node. It's not going to impress anyone. At least over here is not going to impress anyone. But over here looks darn good. I know if you're doing really high end color grading, you normally don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff. That's the weird thing is like, you have to be a better colorist or a more technically proficient colorist doing like less nice stuff. And whenever you get the <laughs> stuff that's shot nice, you don't really have to be that great to make it look good. But you have to be really good to see how to make it better. But this one, we're just leaving it nice. Oop, don't need that. Just real nice. Look at that. Really nice grade, if I do say so myself. Um, also, like this video because, you know, if you did like it. If you didn't like it, then give it a dislike. Or just don't do anything. And, you know, finally leave a comment down below because I like reading the comments. It's fun. Sometimes people say interesting things too, so you should check out the comments. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. We have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.